this is kind of a progression of the plows. This first plow is, uh, the handles aren't quite correct, but it's pretty close of the original plow. The second plow in, this is an actual 1859-ish original John Deere plow. Then the other two plows you see here, these were the prairie plows for cutting through the prairie grass. And then the last two plows were the steel beam plows, and they were the last ones to come out. And they made those up into the 1940s and 50s. It's hard to say when they stopped using wood, because the big, big plows, you couldn't put enough steel on them. They'd just be too heavy. So that some used wood, some used steel. And you'll notice back here, at the far end, a little cultivator. And then that plow and this plow right here with the tines on them. Any ideas? What is that for? Potatoes. <coughs> potato digger plows. They'd go through the ground and the dirt and the potatoes come up over the top. The dirt would fall through and you could just pick the potatoes up and put them into your wagon after that. So it's kind of a little assortment of plows. Some old uh, sidebar sycamore, which left of an old corn planter back there. On the other side, we've got a number nine corn planter, a sulky plow, and a cultivator. And some more plows. The very first plow with the steel beam on that side is a grand deter plow, which was a little bit newer. And then another replica of the original plow, and then a little Dixie Blunt garden plow down there at the end. So if you would, what have you come in on both sides, just equal out on both sides inside.